Hello, how's everybody doing? My name is Jackie Rockman, and we're going to go over three different buttons that you can buy for your fight stick. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and a comment. I would really love to hear what you guys have to say. Alright, so, getting buttons for your fight stick, it can improve your gameplay by one, you feel more comfortable with the button, and two, the response time of the button. But mainly, it's just going to be strictly, strictly the, the, uh, the feel of the button. And that's what I'm going to go over, because it's so annoying that you go and buy a button and you don't know exactly what it looked like or feel and then hopefully this video will help show you. The three buttons we'll be going over is Asawa, Sumitsu, Hibusa. All three buttons are convex buttons as they're rounded at the top. The concave buttons, which is another option of buttons you can buy, is indented in like this. I currently do not have these buttons so I cannot talk with these buttons with personal experience at the moment. So it kind of sucks that I couldn't really get a good idea on how the buttons felt or looked until after I bought them. Which the buttons cost a couple dollars, like what, three dollars or so for each button. It adds up though when you have six buttons or eight buttons you're trying to put into your fight stick. So to save you guys some money, I'm going to go over each button and my personal take on the buttons and a little history on them. Alright. Uh, so first we're going to start talking about the sound buttons. These buttons are the main buttons that are used for Japanese fight sticks, as typically used uh, by most players. Um, because it's a really good, reliable button. Have a good response time, and uh, it have, you have tons of options with them. You have a lot of options with it's color, uh, it can be clear, so you have paper inside of it, so you have cover art, and then you have paper inside the button. You got different colors to go with the color of your fight stick. Um, you can't go wrong with these. These are pretty much the budget part already have. So, here's the submissive button right here. Now, this button is different because when I first went out to buy the button, I thought it was going to be somewhat similar to the Sawa button, maybe just slightly thicker or something. I had no idea what it was really going to be. But actually, if you notice, the top part of the button is flat, but this one is slightly rounded on top. Also, the rims of it is more rounded off, while the Sawa button has a more sharper point to it. Now this has been a pretty good button. It works just about any other button. Um, I, I, when I was using these buttons, it was easy for me to put my finger on the button, rest my finger on it, and not actually hit it. So people who enjoy resting their fingers on buttons, this is actually a really good uh, button to use that for. The only downside about this button I know is that while putting button in and out of my fight stick all the time, because you know I like changing my stuff up all the time, I started noticing the clips on some of them were getting damaged. It was not clipping in properly. That when I put it into the fight stick, it will just pop out when I put it had any pressure on the, under it. So that's the only downfall. Is look out for that. But if you're not pulling the, the button out all the time or replacing it, you're just fine. All right. So the next, the next one we're going to talk about is the Habusa button. And this one right here it took me a while to get this button because um, I was, it was like I already have like the Horde by Four button, which is I thought was the exact same thing, and actually it's not. So the Horde by Four button. It's like this right here. It looked almost the same as a Habusa button. But the problem is, is that it just feels really bad and cheaply made. Like, personally, I cannot stand it. Now, other people had no problem dealing with it, no issue. But I do not I do not like the feel of the button. So, it took a while doing some research to find out that this button was actually slightly different. And while looking at this button, for, it, for me, this button just runs smoothly and just everything just runs better. And... I feel like they, re they, re they redid it and done it better. Now, what I will say in comparison to the other buttons from this button is that the Sumitsu button and the Sama button, see, they have a smooth finish to them. The Habusa button have a max finish to it. So it's kind of good for the grip. They have a good low profile to it. Um, currently, these are the buttons I'm using at the moment. And uh, they have been treating me really well. So, seeing all the buttons, now you guys can decide on what you guys want to do and what buttons you want to buy. Hopefully this video had helped you. So before you want to go buy it, just, you know, you now know what you're about to get. Also subscribe to me, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what buttons you like and what's your preference. And until next time, Jack Rotman's hangout.